Yes, up guys, Willux, we're back here, and today we are going to be playing some Discard Warlock. As you can see, we are missing a Ritual of Doom, so... Why is it not letting me craft this card? I thought I crafted it before. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why it was not letting me craft it before, but whatever. So yeah, today we're playing Discard Lock. Um, this is a deck that was suggested to me by you guys, so thank you for that. Um, as for the deck, I mean, I feel like this is a fairly standard list. You have all the cute cards uh, at the start, which are all your, your zero-cost creatures. You have your mid-game, well, your early game shit with the Cobalt and the, the Imps to draw cards that replace themselves. And then you have this guy to just play a value creature. And then your plan here is typically to flood the board on one then play like wicked whispers discarding hand of Gul'dan, buffing your whole board on turn two drawing three cards hopefully hitting another one of both all of a sudden you have a whole bunch of three threes and you can just typically win the game through that so with that being said how about we keep the first game and uh let's see how it goes okay so yeah with that being said i'll see you guys all there all right first matchup is against a hunter this hand's okay. With the hand of Gul'dan, which is like the main card we want. So if we hit something like a Soulfire on one, we could play it for a 50-50 at discarding uh, this. Um, we draw this. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you discard. I would be discarding this, so it would summon this. It's summon the dudes and then buff them, which is pretty good still on turn one, having a 1-3, three, 2-3-2s. Two, three, very very good and then any other discard card i draw um just buffs my whole board or draws me three cards so that's pretty good um yeah but here yeah probably the best draw here would probably be uh wicked whispers on one into expired merchant on two potentially drawing some blood treants off of the hand of Gul'dan. and then this way i'm about to trade in the expired merchant and draw a bunch more cards. Oh, I'm just going for this here. I just draw any other discard card and I'm really, really happy with the outcome. <laughs> yeah, any any other discard card here would be really, really good. Bro. Face. Bro. Come on. That's fucking ridiculous. Could have went face. I could have kept the two one up. Also, the fact that I queued into Questline Hunter. When was the last time you saw this deck? Ugh. Rough. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. We had like probably like one of the most insane sets we could hit. I hope ideally these were actually flipped, but hey. Bro, you're playing Questline Hunter. What is there to think about? Play spells, target face. Oh, I hate it when people do this. You have 500 games played, or won, on a Hunter. My hand is so bad. My hand went from being so good to so bad off the fact that you had a ricochet shot off the top. Feels bad. Feels bad. And now he's just roping me. I mean, I, I don't get it, G. Okay. You'll find any creature in my deck. Any creature. The one I really wanted to see, but... 
Oh, that's actually such a good discard. Alright. Try to figure out what the right play is here. Mean discards this. Oh, fuck me dead. Are you serious, game? The fact that that's how that works makes me so sad. And again, I lost the 50-50 there. So I don't have a 3-3 on the board here. Or 4-4 on the board here. Feels bad, man. Having that 4-4 was actually super big. Missing out on it. Really fucking sucks. Because yeah, if we if you had it right, if if I had the four four here, first of all, this is ten damage. Puts him on a three turn clock. But also, it's very unfortunate that that happened. Oh well. Uh, really good cards to see here would still be Expired Merchant. Because I can go Expired Merchant, eat it, and then get a 5-5. Five five. Then say how good Expired Merchant is. Bro. What is there to think about? You're playing Questline Hunter. You're not doing Algebra, bro. You're not trying to solve all of Albert Einstein's equation. What are you thinking about? This is infuriating. Oh, we actually hit the merchant here. That's pretty cool. If I'm not saying this should work. I kind of wish I could scare this now. It did work the way I wanted it to. Beautiful. The only reason we won this game is our opponent decided to go AFK, but I don't, I do not deserve this one at all. He, I mean, his draw was just so much more superior than mine. He just went AFK for some odd reason. I thought I had lethal. I would not have played this if I knew I didn't have lethal. I just straight up thought I had it. I was, because I was doing the math with the 4-4. Four, four. That's why. I was doing math like 10, 22. He should be dead here because I summoned a whole bunch of extra power. He would have been out one. All right, I don't feel like I should have won that game. I just did because got lucky, I guess. Uh, the fact that my opponent went AFK, but I do not feel like I deserved that win at all. Anyways, though, with that being said, let's uh, let's get to the next one. All right. I mean, depending on what I draw, this is fairly good. So. Oh, I draw another one one. Or another zero cost dude. What's up with all my opponents going AFK today, man? Blizzard, are you are you like DDoSing my opponents for me? Because if so, please stop. It's not fun. Oh uh, no, my my quest line opponent just had to figure out if it was appropriate to play quest line on one. I see. Oh, 
who needs a hand? Straight up, who needs a hand? I mean, I do, because this matchup is going to feel really, really bad. But who needs a hand? Because, I mean, right now it's just looking like he goes rake on the 2-2. Two -two, punches the 1-3. Maybe rake pounce. Or pounce rake. Kill the 4-4 four -four and the 1-3. Thank god no rake. Because yeah, if he had a rake, right? He'd just play rake there, kill this, punch this, and I just lost the game. No card. I have a 2-2 on board, no cards in hand to his 3. Snow flipper penguins. Let's go. I never thought that, there, like, a cute deck would be a viable strategy in the game at all. Like, going back, I remember when, back in the day... When like when the game first came out, right? I remember Amaz, uh, Amaz HS. Uh, for all those who don't know, he Amaz, the streamer, used to play a lot of Hearthstone. I don't know if he still goes by Amaz HS. I know I know they did falling out with Blizzard and stopped playing Blizzard games altogether because of some shit behind the scenes. But um, yeah, he used to do a lot of pack openings, and I remember like every sing he was comparing the Wisp. To every single legendary so if he could hit a wisp it would be like a low roll on a pack and if he had a legendary it was a high roll on a pack right that's a really good card to draw here what is here just have an extra body here uh so yeah like and just like going from that and then the next set came out i think was it target dummy that was in the next set yeah target dummies in the next set and there's target dummy versus all the legendaries in the set so it, it clearly went from like Legendary is good, all these zero cost cards are bad, and the fact that now there's enough of them and there's strategies built around them. Like at first you had like hobgoblin strategies, um, which are okay. They weren't great, but they were they were pretty cool. I can't remember a time when any hobgoblin deck was at the top of the meta. Maybe some paladin deck at one point. Uh, at the, when I first started playing Hearthstone, I was much less into it than I am now. So I don't quite remember all the meta meta decks. I was mostly playing like for fun decks, uh, back then. Um, but yeah, no, like, it's, it was interesting, to say the least, and the fact that they're here now in, the, like, a deck that is deemed semi-viable is wild to me. I'm just gonna dying to all this shit. You got another zero-cost creature? No, I would rather try to get the expired merchant. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm pretty sure he just slams like two four sixes, and I cry. But you know, there's odds he doesn't do that. Goes just that. He has seven armor. He plays two four sixes. I cry. You know, the usual. You can even go rake, play one. I mean, I, I can see to the 4-6, like, on the spot, right? Like, I've lo I lose so much damage trying to deal with that. I don't have enough in the deck to actually win through it. I guess maybe I could hit, like, Solarium into Wicked Whispers Grim Rally. Maybe that's a possibility. But doesn't feel like it. He has nothing. I mean, I'm in a decent position. That's not that scary. Oh, I should have waited. I'm stupid low because I have to take so much damage from my own shit. I mean, I paid 10 health here, right? So. Yeah. A little bit worried. So far, it is a little bit of free damage from hand. The 1-3 is really good at protecting my board. Now I also don't quite concede as hard to 
the same thing I would have conceded to last turn. Because I could now beat a 4 6 because of the Soul Fire. Did I give him Guff? Okay, he can't put the 4 6 taunts. Okay. I think he wanted to go gain some extra armor, play the 4 6 taunt, but he was out of mana to do that. Oh my god. That matchup was fairly stressful. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. All right. Shaman. The playable thing on one. Not like this. Not the best hand I've ever seen, not the worst hand. We have turned our strength into our strength. Maybe I hit the uh, buff card. Next time you go to this, eat it, Grim Rally, raid, punch face for five. Punch face, probably actually for three, because I probably have to kill it in our time he plays, but. I don't know. It's a two ones are going to help a lot in the early game. Maybe he defaults my board and I get a random four drop. That would be fun. Go face, please. Thank you. Devolve my board, please. I mean, these become zero cost. This doesn't change. This becomes a zero cost, but this becomes a four drop, right? And if I'm considering, I think the old average for four drop was a three four or a three five. I don't know, a three five. I don't remember if it was Tazdingo or not Tazdingo. Give me something good here. Oh, beautiful. I love how we added power to my board, I'm pretty sure, overall. Hoping that the other one feels bad. That can go there, that can go there, that can go there. Please go face. I was hoping to discard this, but at the same time, I didn't have room on my board. That's fine, though. He uses Devolve. I doubt he's playing Lightning Storm. At the moment, I'm to just trade into any totem he makes, realistically and favorably. There's a couple of really good draws I have, though, in my deck. Hopefully, we'll hit one of them. Were we about to draw? I don't even know what we were about to draw, but I'll take it. This deck is doing a lot better than I thought it was, knock on wood. But, um, yeah, no, when I first looked at this deck, I'm like, this deck seems not great. And I wasn't sure how it was going to perform. It is definitely outdoing my expectations. That's for damn sure. Anyways, um, we still have time for another game, so let's queue it up. All right. I want to hit yeah, top deck skull and then there's no better draw in my entire deck than skull or egg. Either one of those top decks, I'm happy with it. Either of those two top decks, I'm happy with. Fucking dead, I guess. I have next turn. I can hit, I can hit the hand of cooldown next turn. And this is, I mean, this is still fairly good. Three two twos, like basically a pirate rogue start. But if I hit, if I hit another relevant card, is the big thing because then they become three threes, and then they're a little bit harder for him to deal with. But draw at one of the. 
the two cards. Oh, I actually hit the hand. I'm a god fucking gamer. Let's go. No one is as good as me at this game. No one is as good as me. Let's go. I do not deserve this. Oh, you're a dickhead. Give me another buff. Fuck me. That's so unfortunate that you actually had the better of, and I don't have another board, another buff. I don't want to play this yet. Man, if I had if I had the second buff and I said to go kill this, he would have conceded the game. It really, really sucks. Ah, fuck me, dead. Okay. Save that for next turn. Maybe, uh, maybe I should have played it here. Get the 3 2 out of range of uh, carry out. Of course, you also have Zephyrus? Ah! Okay, I can't actually be mad. My draw this game was actually fucking insane. Yeah. I've lost now. Feels bad. His his removal just lined up very, very well against my draw. That makes sense. Uh, it doesn't actually matter. I forgot he had two creatures. Oh, well. I tried. I should have gone for the raise dead. I would have survived that one poke off Zephyrus, and I had a shitload of damage on board. Oh, well. what can you do? I fucked up. Anyways, um, we have time for at least one more game, so let's queue up. <laughs> All right, another hunter. Oh. If I keep this, I'm banking on drawing any one cost discard card. Fuck okay, it, YOLO. I do have two draws out of so I do have the librarian. Obviously, I would rather have this be a hand of gold on, but I mean, at the same time, summoning a board full of dudes feels really good. Really, really bad. But okay. Actually, no. Oh, fuck. It's really bad because he has removal. I was about to say, I have some draws here that are. make this card insanely good. You can't kill this this turn. I have this and to eat it. You got a 5 5 and two two ones. Then if I hit a Grim Rally, I'm, like, really, really happy. I just gotta hope. It's weapon. You had another zero cost, and I'm running out of them. I guess I could also hit a one-cost creature. Any creature that's cheap. Basically, any creature besides, like, two. Or that one. Okay, no, uh, I've lost the game, I think. Oh. I got super cocked. Turn one rush, turn two weapon. 
I played around a two even with the, the target dummy. The worst part of it. Yeah, he just wipes one board now. He also hit Pack Mule, which I cannot actually beat. Oh, that's fun. Well, this is turn three. <laughs> I don't even know why I put this, but... Oh, uh, I mean... I didn't think I was going to be able to win after the turn one spring paw. I was like, okay, this is a 50-50. Then we went coin weapon on turn two to kill my O2. My o I'm like, okay, well... Now this match is going to be really hard. And then he draws pack mule that costs zero. Into starving buzzard, pack mule, pack mule. Other card I dredge that costs zero. Summons me a 1-1. One, one. Okay. At a certain extent, there's not much I can do. You should have probably done that in the opposite order, but whatever. Oh. He had a really, really good start. Here's how I've had a lot of really good starts. His start was also just insane. Oh well, it happens. What, 3-2? Three, 3-2 two. Three the deck? Yeah, 3-2. I'm happy with that. I mean, again, I didn't think the deck was that great. Um, At first glance, like, the deck was definitely good. But uh, to me, to me, this deck has always felt a little bit weird when you start cutting all the 5 costs and the 4 costs, right? Uh, you cut... What's the name of the forecast, dude? I don't want this card is playable. Like, you're cutting... Fists, because... Whatever got banned. Um... Cutting these guys. You're cutting... Where's the other card? Soul Barrage. Don't know how I could feel about cutting all of those, but... At the same time, I kind of do get it. Um, yeah. Also, I, I wanted to quickly say sorry for no stream yesterday. I was exhausted during the day, and I had to work at, in the evening, so I chose to sleep because sleeping is better than chopping off my hand in the kitchen. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, uh, with that being said, uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed Discard Lock. Um, deck is, deck is pretty fun. If you guys like aggro decks... I think you guys would really, really like this deck. They're not my favorite personally, but I mean, this one is, it, it's, it's fun. It's, it's the type of deck I can play like for like, you know, five, 10 games and then be like, okay, I'm, I'm done with it for like a month or so. But that, that, again, that's me, right? I'm, I'm very, I, I love playing combo decks. I love having those weird combo puzzles to figure out. Like when I compare it to magic, right? In magic, the two decks I have the most uh, reps on in modern is Amulet, Titan, and Yawgmoth. Uh, both decks I play very, very combo oriented. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's so this deck doesn't really tickle my fancy in that uh, regard versus something like Shadowwalk or Pillager back in the day or whatever. But if you do really like aggro decks, I think this is probably the most fun of all of them. It's definitely more fun than like Pirate Rogue and Kingsbane Rogue. And um, actually, no, I think I prefer Beast Hunter because you can go a little bit larger on your Beast Hunter, so then you're all of a sudden you're playing more mid range, which I do personally prefer. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I'm trying to say, I think if there's anything else I'd like to say. Oh yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the blood trance. They felt mid, same thing with this guy, felt mid. And I kind of just missed soul barrage and, uh, fist of Jaraxxus and the four, four, or five, five rush that just goes your highest cost card. I don't know if they're better than these, but I do kind of miss those cards. Anyways, though, with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. I forgot to tell you guys to grab a drink, but I hope you guys all had a beverage during the video. I was drinking myself a Pepsi. Comment down below whatever you guys were drinking during the video. If you guys weren't drinking anything, get a drink and watch your next video. Comment to me what you guys are getting for that next video. I guess, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one.
Peace.